guys. So, New Year's resolution was to pay more attention to my YouTube and vlog more and not just do so many like sitting, like this is what my video is about video. So, I've decided I'm gonna vlog a bit more. Um, I'm excited about it. And I got this little mount because everybody yelled at me when I used to like Insta story while driving, which I know isn't safe. Now I don't even have to look or do anything, which is super cool. Wednesday um, I'm on my way to therapy I still go to therapy once a week even though I'm two and a half years sober um, there's always things that still come up that I like to talk about and I think therapy is great for anyone I just posted a blog post about how like sobriety is still hard for me and I do want people to understand that and that's kind of why I'm hoping to do a little bit more vlogging to let you guys into more of an everyday type lifestyle of mine because my life has changed a lot and I have made a lot of shifts in the things I do, what I choose to include in my life, and all that jazz. So yes, I'm on my way to therapy today. We'll totally talk about um, my New Year's Eve experience that I went out, you know, to a party and didn't drink, how it made me feel, all that kind of stuff. I love going to therapy because I feel like I always come out of it just really positive, very level-headed, and very in tune with my emotions, with my progress, with where I'm at with things. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm getting lunch with my mom today. Um, I'm doing like the curbside grocery pickup for the first time ever at Meijer, and I'm so freaking excited. I literally ordered everything online, and they bring it right out to your car when you get there. Um, so pumped for that. And then I am like on this quest to get organized and productive this year. I don't really like make resolutions for the new year, but that was one thing I wanted to work on. So there's a lot of things in the house. There's still Christmas decorations. I want to declutter, organize. I'm gonna throw a lot of stuff away. Basically just wanna get my life in order and yeah. So what I usually do on my drive to therapy, I listen to some kind of book on Audible. I'm listening to Gabby Bernstein's new book, Judgment Detox. Um, I always have a link down in the description bar under discount codes if you guys ever miss it for a free 30 day trial of Audible. Um, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know I love Audible because I don't find a lot of time to sit down like with a book, but I love personal development and self help books. I write them, I love them. So it's easy for me to put it on in the car while I'm driving. I've got my Herbalife protein shake, trying to keep my nutrition a little bit more on point this year. Um, this is the banana caramel. I also put powdered peanut butter and a little bit of my collagen in it too. So this is just like a power shake. So I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna listen to my book and I will catch in with you guys later. Oh my God, you guys, I don't know if you've ever done curbside Meyer pickup. You literally don't get out of your car. They bring all your groceries. What well, used to take me an hour shopping literally took me like five minutes. And you don't have to worry about them paying me to say this because Meyer definitely is not paying me. But this is like a godsend and I plan on never going into Meyer again. So honestly, our house has just been a mess. I had the flu right after Christmas and then Andrew got a cold. I don't know what the heck he had, but he was really sick. So like it's driving me crazy. I don't know about you guys, but when stuff is messy, it drives me nuts. So I'm so excited to turn on some music, put stuff away, get some serious organization, and throw out a bunch of clutter. So that's what we're going to be doing today. P.S. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but it is like 12 degrees outside. It is snowing, and we don't want to go outside. And Kaya feels the same way about it. She said, hide the snow. I'm done. Also, we're making stuffed cabbage soup today, so I will keep you guys posted on that. I've never made it. Sounds yummy, perfect for the winter weather, so yeah. Y'all, we are so organized. I'm going like cutthroat. I did all the cupboards. So clean. So next step is definitely gonna be this desk because it's such a mess right now, I can't even use it because I'm trying to organize, but I stumbled on my little, excuse that burn mark on my thumb that's been curling my hair for New Year's. Um, this was all the chapters I outlined for the book Inner Bloom when I wrote it. And I found it over here. So cute. So I'm taking a break. I'm making dinner. I'm making the stuffed cabbage soup I was telling you guys about. So let me give you a little shot so far. I did some lean grass-fed beef. 
I've got onions in beef and vegetable stock with some garlic. We got all the tomatoes, bread, because you know I need carbs. And then I'm going to chop up a whole bunch of cabbage and put it in here and some diced tomatoes and brown rice and voila, healthy. This looks amazing, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm going to broil some bread with olive oil and garlic for dipping because I can't eat without carbs. This turned out so good. So good. I forgot to videotape eating it, but it turned out delicious. Oh my god, you guys, I'm walking to work out it's like 12 freaking degrees and it's a tundra in Detroit. All right, guys, day two of organization begins. Christmas is coming down. I hope you guys are loving these vlogs and you're really seeing that like this is me on a daily basis in sweatpants and t-shirts with no makeup. It's real life over here. I just worked out but I don't want to eat lunch right away. So this is my favorite right now. I've been doing this jasmine tea with honey. Look at these burns like from that curling wand. That's ridiculous. For these cold wintry months, like obsessed. So you guys know anything I mentioned in this video, I'll link down below in the description bar too. Got a special delivery today. This is the Berber Blonde from Santa Jarin Perfume. They sent me a bunch of samples. I love this one. And I'm gonna be telling you guys about this company in an upcoming uh, video because they have a really interesting story behind the company. And I think you guys would all love it. And this smells amazing. So I love that everything looks super clean, but after Christmas, everything just looks so boring. Like, it's kind of depressing. But I'm really excited that I got this whole area organized so I can actually utilize this for work. Pumped. Oh, I see you up there. I see you. So next stop, because this is fucking ridiculous. First of all, I have way too much clothes. So I'm gonna be donating and getting rid of a bunch and like this shoe situation and these boots. Like, are you kidding me? Still super packed, but so much better. I can actually walk in now. Tell them what's for dinner. So, uh, we got spinach, nuts. Woo! Some chicken parm and potatoes. Oh, so cool. What you think? I think it looks good. Yes. Oh my God, you guys. It's like five degrees outside. Literally five degrees outside. It's so freaking cold. Andrew lost my gloves, so I have no gloves, and I'm dying. I am taking a bunch of clothes to Plato's closet that I cleaned out of my closet, and is it just me, or do like, Plato's closet always, they're like, hey, we can take these like 12 things that give you like $2.47 for them. Like, really? Some of the stuff still has the tags on it. So, fingers crossed for me that they give me some dollars today, because Andrew and I leave for Florida in like two weeks and I wouldn't mind a little extra cash to pay for gas money on the way down so fingers crossed on that. Where are we? Uh, I need to start quoting prices now. <laughs> We're at Sam's Club. We're at Sammy's Club. You guys low-key why am I so excited about this? Play YouTube Justin Timberlake filthy. For real, this has low-key changed my life. And if you are loving this new Justin Timberlake song as much as I am, throw me something in the comments and let me know. Oh, that's that shoulder off. 
So I got this in the mail today from Amazon. It's from Mixu. Um, I'll have this link down below, you know, in the video. But if you ever see people on their Insta stories where they have like the really pretty, it looks like handwriting and it's really small and you're like, how did their finger do that? Like it's way too big. It's because they use these cute little stylus. I got this one on Amazon. It was like 10 or 12 bucks and it's pink and pretty. It's got different size tips. But I'm getting this so that I can just be extra and have really pretty writing in my Insta stories. How freaking cute is that? You guys are gonna crack up, but like this is my Friday afternoon. I'm literally folding laundry and watching YouTube videos on my TV. I'm watching Desi Perkins right now because I love her. Um, and it's Fiesta Friday, so I'm making tacos. These are my adult Friday nights. Laundry and tacos. I'm not mad about it though. It's freezing outside i'm inside i'm in sweats it's great taco tuesday or no it's friday <laughs> fiesta friday Woo! i bet the rain down in africa so i'm gonna go ahead and do a peel on my skin if you guys watched my early anti-aging millennial skincare video i talk about these this is my facial steamer that i'm obsessed with so I'm gonna show you guys how I put this on, amplify it with the steam, and this is a game changer for skin. It's getting rid of all my texture and fine lines. So I do this for about seven minutes and then I rinse it off. It looks a little scary, but it is amazing. Hey guys, so it's Saturday night. So if you guys saw me, you might already know this, but I run a company, a small business here in the Detroit area called 24 Lux Hair and Makeup. Um, I do all the makeup and run everything, and we basically do on-location hair and makeup for uh, weddings and events locally in the Detroit area and also destinations sometimes. So occasionally, if one of us actually knows the person getting married, we get invited to the actual wedding, and it's always fun because it gives us an opportunity to get dressed up, an excuse to have an updo, it's an excuse to get glam. So we got to go to a wedding today down at the Guardian building, but our weekends are usually all working weddings, and... I don't usually vlog at those just because I don't know how people feel about me vlogging their wedding day. So so that's why I didn't vlog much today per se. But yeah, we had a nice time. It was kind of like a little girls night. I'll throw a picture up in here. I took a few selfies, of course, because why would we not take selfies when they had the excuse of looking this cute? Um, but Saturday night, Andrew's at the Pistons game and Kaya and I are home early. And honestly, it's like 10 o'clock and I cannot wait to get in my pajamas and get in bed, like now. <laughs> That's how I know I'm getting old. I love coming home and going to bed with my dog and just watching movies and shit. So I'll probably vlog a little bit tomorrow, it's Sunday. I, that's probably where I'll end this vlog. Um, I wanted to try something new, see how you guys responded, see how you liked it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you wanna see more everyday vlogging like this? Not every day of my life is exciting, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like a lot of this is just repetitive. It's just me cooking and eating, which is basically my life. But if you guys like more of these informal vlogs, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and say more vlogs because I don't know, it's kind of fun doing these and giving you guys kind of a peek into my day to day. I kind of like it. So let me know. Where are we going? Church. We're going to church. All right, guys, so this is a big moment in my life. What is it, you might be thinking? Well, okay, so you guys know I'm all about, like, female empowerment groups on Facebook and blah, 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 blah. And Kara Awuleba, my favorite author who started the Slay Baby Collective, which is one of my favorite groups, started a semi-sober and sober Slay Baby group, and I have been, like, all in. Like, I post every day. I just love that there's a group of women that we can connect and talk about this stuff. Everybody is not necessarily sober. It's maybe they're just looking at their relationship with alcohol, but it's really cool because it's an open, no judgment type space. I'll link it in the uh, description bar of this vlog if you guys want to check it out. But we were talking a lot about mocktails and I was like, you know, because for a lot of us, we just like that fun drinks with the girls social mentality, but we don't necessarily want to get drunk or drink anymore or we're sober like myself. 
So I kind of was telling girls in there, like, I get virgin margaritas all the time. Like, totally cool with it. I like it. So I can totally enjoy a virgin margarita. I went to a wedding last night for a bride that we styled. I vlogged when I got home, but it was funny because when we were sitting there, I kind of admitted to my girlfriend, I was like, if there's one thing I actually do miss about drinking, it's wine. So I basically admitted to her, I was like, I miss more of the social aspect of like a pretty glass, like treating myself, something special, you know, something glamorous and fun. And I told her, I was like, I just, I do miss drinking wine. You know, there was like the pretty rosé for the champagne toast on the table at the wedding. And I was just like, I, you know, that's the part that I miss now. I don't miss the alcohol itself. And I was like, damn. And then like, I don't know why last night I had this like thought process, like, why did I never make the connection before that there's non-alcoholic wine? I literally went on Amazon when I got home. I was like in bed playing on my phone. I looked up non-alcoholic wine and sure as shit, there's non-alcoholic wine. If you didn't hear the bottles clanking already as I've been driving, I found some. Um, I didn't find the Moscato, which is what I wanted to find, but I was able to find a bottle of White Zin and a red. Um, it's called Free from Sutter Home. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested, but the Golden Globes are on tonight and I literally dropped Andrew off after church and lunch and was like, I'm going to get non-alcoholic wine. And this is a big thing for me. Like I'm going to have a glass of non-alcoholic wine tonight and I'm so excited for it. And it seems so silly, but like, I'm so buffed. Sunday's getting lit, coming in, popping bottles tonight. <laughs> If anyone knows me, I don't know why it took me until almost three years sober to realize that I could drink non-alcoholic wine and that it existed. Like, where has this been all my life? Just got the mail. The glasses I ordered for our trip to Florida from the sunglass spot showed up. It is about to get lit with this non-alcoholic wine. Everybody always takes all the good parks in my parking lot and then I have to try to find a legit one driving around. Side note, we went to the market down the street um, to get an unbaked pizza so we could uh, have like bakery pizza tonight and I wanted to get some fresh flowers and the girl in the checkout that always checks me out was like oh my god I just added you on YouTube and I was like oh it's just like local celebrity and I was like yeah right I'm just getting unbaked pizza and flowers and on the hunt for non-alcoholic wine but it's always really cool when I'm somewhere and someone like is like hey didn't you write a book don't you have YouTube videos and Andrew thinks it's like hilarious and I feel like I'm so awkward about it I'm like oh Cool. I don't know, it's weird, because that's the girl that like checks me out every week when I get like chicken breast, turkey bacon, and spinach, and, and now she's watching my videos on YouTube. So if she's watching this, shout out to you, because that was really funny today, and I thought it was pretty cool. Do you know what it is? You're vlogging, so it's important. It's something really special. Kaya's even excited. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Will it even fit on my fat wrist? I don't know, try it. <laughs> These are all my cute sunglasses from Sunglass Spot. They are $5 each. I ordered them all for Florida. I'm so excited. Watching Manny. So let's tell them story time. The alcohol free wine actually is not alcohol free, we found out. There is 0.05% alcohol, so I can't drink it. So. But we're having pizza and making some virgin drinks. Cheers. Cheers. Serve me the pizza. Where you go, honey? Yeah. Two pizzas or one? You know I want to. <laughs> <laughs> the wine we cannot drink because of the misleading assholes. And that's right here. Our wine was on our way. 